Hey everybody, welcome back to another Talk Tuesday where I do my makeup while I chat about life. Just gonna get started with my BB cream as usual and I'm going to mix in something I haven't used in a long time. This is basically like my winter color. It's Too Faced Born This Way. I'm gonna mix the two together because my self tan is slowly fading away. Well, not slowly, quickly actually. And I don't think I'm gonna self tan again because summer's pretty much over and I don't really have any other Oh, that was too much. <laughs> Special events coming up. So I'm just going to mix these two until I eventually end up my winter shade. Sorry if you guys can hear kids playing in the background. We live actually really close to the school that my kids go to. So now that school's back in session, every time it's recess and lunch, it's really loud. I actually have a microphone here. I got it with points off Famebit. So I'm excited to try it out. Clearly I haven't taken it out of its box yet, but I'm hoping that it kind of resolves that issue so you guys can hear me better. We also have a lot of construction happening, so I you know, totally off topic, but hopefully you guys can hear me. I have quite a lot of breakouts happening in this region. I'm guessing they are hormonal breakouts because it's that time of the month, which is extra fun, but hopefully you guys don't see them too much. I feel like videos often blur everything and make you look a lot better than you actually look in person so I love that for videos but yeah I have that going on if you guys watched last week's talk Tuesday which actually went up like late Wednesday night at least I got it up I uh, wasn't feeling well and was not looking forward to the week ahead I won't go into it because I talked about it sorry I have hairs everywhere I talked about it last week but if you're wondering how I'm doing Better than I thought. I mean, it has been a rough week. I have basically spent all my downtime just laying laying down or laying in bed or laying on the couch. I um, haven't done anything active whatsoever. I was supposed to go to a wedding on Saturday and it was like a three hour drive away and I had to cancel, which I felt terrible about because she was a friend that I grew up with and there's just, there just no way that I could be in the car for that long and dealing with pain and whatnot. But so yeah, I had to cancel that. Um, I'm still on antibiotics. They make me incredibly nauseous. So I have vomited a few times because of these darn antibiotics. And colitis is um, is flaring, but I thought it would be a lot worse. So I'm, I'm not terribly upset. Like I thought, I thought things would be a lot more progressed than they were by now because my revocate's on Wednesday. So I'm happy to say like I'm still surviving. I'm still alive. I've been able to go out and do a few things and like take the kids to school and you know live my life. I thought I'd be a lot worse off than I am, but I definitely haven't done much this week besides just take it easy and lay in bed. So since clearly I haven't had a very exciting week and therefore I don't have much to talk about, I figured I would talk about, ooh, that is dark on me now, but I'm getting pale. Anyways, I, I figured I'd talk about what I would do when I do <laughs> lay in bed watching shows and whatnot, and I do have time to myself and this has been going on not just while I've been sick but for like months now I don't know about you guys but I'm addicted to the story time channels and the story time videos on YouTube like I said this probably happened six months ago maybe and slowly but surely it's become pretty much all I watch which is funny if you don't know what story time channels are there are youtubers out there that just post stories of you know, anything really. I think I, the first one I watched was maybe like a nail salon rant video. I find rant vi videos very entertaining. I don't know, I just love the drama and when people share real life stories. So, and then from there I started watching like hairdresser stories gone wrong and that's how I found Tana Mojo who I subscribed to her last year when her channel only had, it was under 100,000 and within her first year on YouTube she became over a million subscribers. I don't know if she's over two now. I think she's close if she's not. She's amazing. She's very, very entertaining. Um, but now there are so many Storytime YouTubers out there. So let me know, do you guys watch the Storytime YouTubes too? If there is people that you like watching, let me know because I mean, I'm always game to find somebody new. I half wish I was the type of person that could put up Storytimes because um, obviously I like watching them myself. So I think they would be really, really fun too film, but there's two issues why I don't film story times. The first is that I have the worst memory of life. Like, I don't remember anything. If it was over a month ago, okay, maybe more than that, three months ago, like, it's just almost gone. So when I hang out with friends, they'll be like, hey, you remember we did that when we were like 22 years old or something like that? I'm like, no, like, I have, how do you remember that? I have no memory of that. So that would be the first problem. I would run out of stories pretty quick because unless something 
you know, crazy happened at this point in my life, which it, it doesn't often, then I wouldn't really have any story times to tell. The second is that the stories I do, like, the stories I like watching are the really um, entertaining kind of crazy <laughs> stories, if that makes sense. And any stories that I do remember happened when I was a teenager or like early 20s. And it's not something that I think I would feel comfortable like sharing with the world on YouTube and just putting out there, which I think is really funny because on one hand, I mean, you can go watch me give birth on YouTube and for some reason I'm okay with that. But when it comes to like crazy crap I did when I was a kid or when I was a teenager or just dumb things I did, I'm like, I don't know if I'd want that on here too. Does that make any sense at all? Apparently in my brain it does. So yeah, I find those titles very entertaining. I'm going to use this color right here and kind of do a one lid color look. But yeah, as I'm watching those story time drama channels at the same time, because I can't just do one thing, I'm a little ADD in that sense. I like listening to it in my ears, but I like doing something with my hands. And I have been playing that game I'm sure you guys have heard of best fiends um, it's like an app where it's like a puzzle app type thing and I heard it on so many channels no this is not sponsored I know they sponsor a lot of people on YouTube to get the word out and it definitely worked in my case I wish they would sponsor me that would be amazing but no they're not sponsoring me um, but it really is addicting I just kind of downloaded it on a whim I think I was really really bored late one evening and I flew through the first 20 or so levels and then the next day I just picked it up and it just became a habit. Now I'm on level 252 or 253, something ridiculous like that. I looked it up, there were, when I looked it up, there were 500 levels. I don't know if there's more now. So I have been playing that for two or three months now, probably every single day whenever I'm listening to story time videos and I haven't gotten bored of it. I mean, I'll play the same level like 10 times or more in a row and keep failing it, but eventually I pass it, so I know that if I just keep playing and playing and playing, I don't know if the level gets easier or what, eventually you end up passing and you move on to the next one and it doesn't make me bored. So yes, those have been the two things that I've been up to, not only all week, but like all summer. So today's makeup is quick and easy, like usual, because I really just can't be bothered to do anything crazy. but. On that note about the app, if there are any other games that you play that you find highly addictive and really entertaining, I'm kind of hesitant to ask you what they are, but at the same time I know eventually I'm going to complete Best Fiends and uh, I'll need something new. So leave that in a comment down below along with if you like watching story time videos and who you watch because like I said, I'm always on the hunt for new ones and if you guys want to know who I watch because it's quite a long list now. Let me know, and I can let you know who I watch. I know I mentioned Tana Mojo, but there is a whole ton more that I watch. All right, so here's today's makeup look. I have to go get Riley now from kindergarten because it's only half day. We are getting so close to when she's in school for a whole day, so I need to go pick her up now and then film a couple more videos. And yeah, hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!